Hey, good morning. Another great maggot-free day above the dirt, Jersey Shore. Uh, check this out. Um, the other day I found this really cool little Zen garden that somebody made on the beach. So check this out, Jersey Shore. So uh, really cool. So um, we finished uh, the eight practice path, wise um, understanding, wise thought, wise, um, then we go to the conduct practices, those are the wisdom practices, the conduct practices, wise um, speech, action, and livelihood, and then the last three are meditative, mental discipline practices, wise effort, mindfulness, and concentration. So that's the path we walk but we need to uh, define the path. And the teachings, the Buddha did that by explaining it as the middle way. So before we talk about the middle way, which I've already done, so I'm not, not gonna rehash it too much, but it's important to understand, you know, if one end of the spectrum is bliss and one is suffering, um, then the middle of those two is where we need to be. So it's not that we don't feel blissful sometimes, it's not that we don't suffer sometimes. But this path is, is action and tools so we don't, you know, knee jerk and bounce from, from, from end to end of that spectrum and we find some equanimity in the middle. Now the middle way, the big misunderstanding about the middle way the, is that it somehow insulates us, makes us immune or numb or indifferent to um, whatever's going on and we sit there almost happy about it. And um, that's wrong really friggin' wrong. Um, we can sit there being grateful, we could sit there being satisfied, content, knowing that what we're dealing with will pass and we don't have to um, pursue or avoid to deal with it, we can engage it. And that's what the middle way is about, engaging what's present. So um, we need to feel what's happening, whether it's happiness or whether it's grief, or pain without avoiding it, without pursuing something to um, help cope with it in an unhealthy way. And we just sit with it until it passes. So the middle way is about being with everything, um, engaging it fully, no separation from it at all. So rather than being numb, we're fully immersed in whatever emotion uh, is present, feeling is present. The teachings describe eight in traditional language, it's called vicissitudes, but um, you can just call them experiences that are inherent to life. We will all have them regardless of our intention, regardless of our actions. And they are pain and pleasure, gain and loss, praise and blame, fame and disrepute. We will all have these experiences and our, our spiritual path is about manage, managing them and, and trying to find equanimity between them and not get caught at either end of uh, the polarity spectrum um, for too long and become attached. And that's when we uh, end up pursuing and avoiding, clinging, craving, etc. cetera. So um, basically what this means is through the middle way, we, we traverse this middle way through these eight experiences. And of course, there's many sub experiences to them, but these are the eight main ones the teachings explain. And we do this without adding anything. So what that means is when pain is present, we feel it until it dissipates on its own. When, when pleasure is present, we enjoy it till it's over without trying to cling to it or pursue it or recreate it. Once it's gone, it's gone. So um, we don't add a narrative. We don't add pursuing and avoiding. We're just with it until it's over. And this doesn't mean we wish for pain and shun pleasure. It just means that you know, we can be with experience without adding anything that um, either abnormally prolongs it or prematurely ends it because that just causes us to suffer. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Uh, the middle way um, to find it, understanding how we apply it through the Eightfold Path is our, is our blueprint for walking that middle way. And um, the experiences that we all have to uh, walk that middle way through. So um, 
The next video is going to be about what's called the hindrances. Usually these are talked about um, just in regard to meditation, but since every moment of our lives is a meditative moment, um, it's important that we understand how the hindrances affect our whole life in every moment, not just when we're sitting and meditating. So we'll talk about the hindrances next. Have a grateful, maggot-free day above the dirt. Peace out.